Hello everyone and welcome back to Voice. This week what we're going to focus on is exploring sounds. Now every sound is connected to you and it is an expression of whatever you're feeling. Now sounds are a really, really, really important tool and what we're going to focus on this week is how you connect to a character and to your own feelings through a sound. So let's get started. Have you ever noticed that certain sounds are more expressive? Well, that's often why we like words over other words. Now, people who like to cuss, they really like to cuss because usually those curse words give you a really nice vowel and then they give you a great consonant that you can kind of close off that vowel sound. So you're able to express whatever emotion you're feeling. Vowels are where the emotions come out. That's why if you hurt yourself, you go, ow, right? Anytime you are yelling out whatever you're feeling, you're able to release it out of you through a vowel sound. Now, whatever that, the, the vowel sound is how you release it out of your body. You release the feeling, but the way you feel about it, that is you, that, that context, that feeling, that expression is all through the consonant. So that's why if you go, ah, well, the k sound is the kick. That's the hit. That's the, the anger, the slap, that part of it, right? And so that consonant gives you that kind of texture and flavor, but the vowel sound, the vowel sound is what gives you all of the emotion. But every vowel sound is a little bit different and has a different way of expressing itself. How do you use that in your own work? Well, you're going to explore different sounds based on how they feel, based on how the character feels. So if the character is feeling frustrated, well, depending on the personality of the character, that character is going to gravitate to sounds that express the feelings that they are feeling. But in order for you to understand that, we're gonna have to do it. So let's get started. The first thing that I want you guys to do is we're going to explore A. But A has a couple different sounds, especially in the English language. And when you start working on accents, you're going to start to understand that different sounds are used to substitute the other sounds in these dialects. So you need to be aware of that. You, uh, and today, what I want you to focus on is how a sound feels both in your mouth and in your body. So the first sound that I want you to start with is ah, A-H. Now ah is the most open sound in the English language. And what I want you to do is express yourself with ah. So what we're gonna do is we're going to move around the room. I want you to walk around whatever space that you're in. And I want you to just start saying ah. Now, do it in as many ways as you can. And with each of these exercises, we're gonna do the same sound, we're, we're gonna change the sound, but we're gonna do them in kind of the same format. So the first thing that I want you to do is say ah as though you were happy. Ah, 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 ah. Whatever that is, give yourself as many ways to express happiness with the sound ah as you possibly can. Move around the space and do that. Perfect. Now, once you finish doing that, then I want you to see if you can express anger through that sound. Ah, ah, ah. Whatever that is, I want you to express that sound, right? Express that feeling through that sound. Now, once you've done happiness, now you've done anger, now do sadness. Oh, oh. Whatever that feeling is, express it out with that sound and see how many different ways that you can do that. Good. Now make it a battle cry. Ah! Now destroy something. Now be creepy with that sound. Now touch something gross with that sound. Ah. Now laugh with that sound. <laughs> See, that sound is gonna have its own feel. All right, go ahead and shake it off. 
Take a quick moment to write down what that sound made you feel like. Great, and now we're gonna move into ah, like cat. Ah, 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 ah. It's gonna be very short, ah. Now, move around the space and see if you can express happiness with that sound. It's gonna be a little different. See, one is really open and one is really short. So, see if you can express happiness through that. Now, anger. Now, disgust. Now, fear. Now, sadness. Now, love. What's the difference between ah oh, and ah? It's huge, right? Now, see if you can hit on somebody with that sound. See if you can be sexy with that sound. What's the difference between being sexy with ah oh, and being sexy with ah? Try it. Now, see if you can laugh with that sound. Well, great. Now that you've done that, now we're gonna move into another sound, but take a moment and write down what that sound made you feel like. So now that we've finished that, now we're gonna move into another sound, right? Now we're gonna move into A. A, A, great, A. A is gonna feel like it jumps out of you. So now move around the space and see how A feels. Celebrate with A. Ha express happiness with A. And now anger. Now sadness and devastation. Now threaten somebody with that sound. Now disappointment and disgust. Now try to be sexy with that sound. A. Now try to express love with that sound. Now laugh with that sound and see what kind of character you become with that sound. Perfect. Now, what I want you to do is we're gonna move into our next sound. E. E. And just a long E. Perfect. A long E. Now, with that, I want you to move around the space and I want you to see how it feels. Express happiness with that sound. Now anger, eee. now sadness and devastation, eee. now fear, eee. see how each of those feel. Now try to be sexy with that sound. Now express love with that sound. How is that sound different than the A sounds, ah and A? Is it different? Do you feel different when you use it? What kind of characters would do that? Now for fun, see if you can laugh with that sound. <laughs> How is that different than <laughs> or <laughs> or oh? <laughs> They're all different. They're all different characters, right? And because all of these characters can be based out of these different feelings and these different sounds, look at all of the worlds that are starting to open up. Take a moment, write down how that sound made you feel and come back. Now we're gonna do eh. E again, but eh, like get. Can you go get me that thing? Eh, eh, eh. So now, see if you can express happiness through that. Or anger. And sadness. Disgust. Relief. Eh. Fear. Eh. Touch something gross. Eh. See how it feels. How does that sound feel when you say it? What personality does that sound carry with it? Now try to be sexy with it. That and ah have kind of a griminess to being sexy, right? Now try to express love with that. Can you? What kind of love is it? What kind of sexiness is it? What kind of anger is it? See, they're all different shades of the same thing, but they feel different because the sound and expression is different. Now, see if you can laugh with that sound. <laughs> How do you feel? What kind of character started with that sound? Now take a moment, go write it down, and come back. All right, so the next one that we're gonna do is I. Now I is gonna feel a lot like A. They both have that jumping out of you, right? I, 
Ay, 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 ay. Right? Each of those things. So now I want you to move around the space and express happiness with that sound. Now sadness. Now anger. Now disgust. Now fear. Love. Try to be sexy with that sound. And now, laugh. <laughs> what does that feel like? What kind of character was that? Go write it down. Come back. Now we're going to do I. So this is I, but if it's in the middle of a word, like hit, something like that, right? I, 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 I. Now, I is going to feel like eh. It's going to feel like ah, but they're different. So how does this sound feel? Move around the space and really focus on how that sound makes you feel. So express happiness with it. Sadness. Anger. Disgust. Love. Relief. Fear. Try to get as many things in there as you can. And then try to laugh with it. <laughs> How do you feel? What kind of character was that? Pause, go write it down. Come back. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is ooh. All right? Is for O. Oh, O's got three sounds, but we're going to start with ooh. Ooh. All right, so now move around the space and express happiness with that sound. Sadness, anger, disgust, love. Try to be sexy with it. Now laugh. <laughs> what kind of character was that? How does that sound make you feel? Pause, go write it down. What characters could you create? All right, now, oh, oh, oh. So now go move throughout the space and express happiness with that sound. Oh, a big round open O. Oh. And now sadness, oh. This one is so useful, Shakespeare uses it all the time. You're gonna see this. This is how his characters just express whatever emotion that is. If it's anger, oh. If it's sadness, oh. If it's happiness, oh. It's gonna jump out of you. So what is that feeling? Try to be sexy with that sound. Try to express love with that sound. Now laugh with that sound. Oh. Watch somebody get hit with that sound. Oh, and how's that different than I? How's that different than A? It's a different feeling. Right? So, how did that sound make you feel? Go sit down, write it down. And now, ah, uh, like hot. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's slightly different. So now what I want you to do is walk around and see how that sound makes you feel. Happiness, sadness, desperation, fear, anger, disgust. Be creepy with that sound. Now be sexy with that sound. Now laugh with that sound. <laughs> well, what does that feel like? What kind of character is that? Go write it down. Come back. Okay. All right, everyone. Now we're going to move into uh, 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 uh. Now, for people who cuss all the time and they use the F word, the uh sound is why they like that so much because that sound is so open and can be extended that they just shoot that sound out. Now, uh, uh can be used in any word. So you can get that same expression with any word that you want. But now move around the space and find that sound. How do you express happiness with that sound? Now sadness, anger, disgust, relief, fear, love, be sexy with it, and now laugh with it. 
Okay, so how did that make you feel? What characters came about? Go write that down. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to go sit down and I want you to write and upload your experience. What characters did you find? What things opened up for you within this exercise? Did you learn anything about yourself? Did you find any characters that kind of jumped out at you that you were like, that was so much fun, I wanna explore that. I need to remember what that character was like. See, you can find a character in a bunch of different ways, but you can find it through your voice. And your voice, you expressing how you feel, you expressing through different sounds, just changing the sound can change the personality. Just by changing the way you laugh can change a personality. Now I wanna hear, I want you to sit down and write out and think out loud, think in your, on, on the page and write down what you found. Great, because if there's something really cool, I wanna hear about it. I wanna hear about how your experience opened up your eyes and hopefully I can get inspired by reading it and it can open up my mind as well. So what I want you to do is upload your experience so I can see it, but so we can all see it too. Because the way we learn is by learning from each other. Okay everyone, I can't wait to hear about your experiences and I'll see you soon.